My god, it is hot. Hello there, wonderful people. Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And today I'm going to be talking about the new EP from Chime, Our Flame. Harvey Goldfinch, aka Chime, is back with his third Disciple EP and first in just over a year. A follow up to Interdimensional and before that, Side Quest, with which he solidified himself as one of the most important and prominent figures in the melodic dubstep and bass scene. Holy the colour based sound he coined himself and showing his style to be as lively as ever, although no one song from those projects really taking me aback like an experience points or coins for example. Beyond those EPs he's continued to be that important melodic figure in building his Rushdown label more and more, even formulating another imprint in the last couple of months alongside several others called Stratos, the debut single from which, his collaboration with Dr. Ozzy, being one of my undoubted tracks of the year so far. There have been other collaborations, remixes, his own remix comp, so I mean, bottom line, he's been busy as ever. A new EP being what everyone was most excited for though, and I had the same question going into it as with the last couple. That being whether there would be any special material here, or whether the quality would be more spread out. The answer for me being the latter, another solid project here from him, but bereft of a tune to really blow you away. Not to say there aren't tracks that run close to that, the opener, Unicorn Blood, kicks off the EP in characteristically playful chime fashion. The opening here, and to the EP, is sweet, kind of video game feel to it, an emotional tinge running through it, it's classic chime. The first drop here, whilst quite straightforward in its idea with the rhythmy backdrop, has pretty much the perfect amount of force to it. The musicality is fantastic as well, a lot of flavour to enjoy, and the little flickers firing off in all directions, kind of taking your mind this way and that too. Musicality! Perfect. Perfect. Flickers. Oh, so good. I also love how he narrows the second verse and build, you know, first time around. It's a bit longer, more stretched out and drawn out. And yeah, as a change, it's just so cleverly done. But then there is stuff that brings the track down somewhat. The second drop for one, which, whilst not bad per se, is definitely one I'm gonna have to get used to. A very minimal, twinkly section that is pretty, but it does halt the momentum of the tune for me. And even though it picks up well, it does just feel a bit out of place. <laughs> Interesting. The vocal, moreover, from Miss Lena, which I do think stylistically suits the instrumental well, but there are points where it isn't as easy to make out what she's saying, and as a result, a bit harder to feel engaged. However, knowing the lyrics now, that it's about being comfortable with yourself, and feeling like you can be whoever and whatever you want to be, this all according to Chime, who I asked for the lyrics yesterday, I feel a stronger connection to it, no doubt. Also got love for track 3, Game Break with Wales, which is a pretty accurate representation of their combined styles. A real and proper attitude to the heaviness here, you know, production solid enough that you can really rock along with it. Some good colour to it as well, but for the most part, a perfect example of simple idea with the ideal amount of force. <laughs> Coming to life even more in the second drop, a nice mix of wobbly, sprightly chime and savage, robotic whales. Even gnarlier as well, which I think is needed at that point, because at times it does risk repeating itself ideas-wise a bit. The progressions in particular feel a bit too lifeless and don't really add anything to the tune overall. The midsection though, that pinpoint dainty little thing, is lovely. <laughs> The other two here I definitely get enjoyment from, just not as much as the two just mentioned. The closer and title track is undoubtedly the one I feel most torn on here. I appreciate the wobble approach he's going for, it's all well produced and again a nice emotional tinge to it, but ideas wise just doesn't do very much, again a thing of not having invention to it, which we all know him for. <laughs> I 
I prefer the second drop by virtue of the transition into it being my favourite on the EP and it just sounds a bit more fleshed out overall in comparison to the first as well, making the repetition work somewhat but yeah for the most part just too similar from one to another. That being said, maybe that's the point, a more drawn out number at the end to kind of tone the EP down as opposed to having a grand finale, a way of kind of tying the EP up if you will. And it works like that, I can imagine it ending a set really well. So yeah, as you can see, I, I'm i torn. And lastly, track two, Queasy with Virus Syndicate, which never quite gets into its stride for me. Another here that falls victim of sounding a bit too simple in its focal points, i.e. the drops. The first drop here has a kind of quirky feel to it, but again, doesn't do a lot as a general idea. The snares are quite ineffective as well. And whilst I appreciate the house switch for the second drop, a great pace and animation to it, once more, the idea just doesn't wow for me. You know, it's jumpy and bouncy, but you feel again, just not quite pushing far enough for him. <laughs> It's cheeky, but you do just feel he could have done a bit more with the idea. I must say though, I do enjoy the builds here, which actually have a genuinely queasy feel to them. And Virus Syndicate, whilst not on top top form, do come through with a couple of expert rhyming patterns in the second verse in particular. General feel on that tune though, being one of a brilliant foundation, but potential isn't quite realised. An understanding I think I could apply to my enjoyment of the EP as a whole. Our Flame is more typical of recent Chime EPs and having a lot of flavour and an array of moments to bring you back in again and again for the project as a whole, but no knockout tune I'm gonna go back to repeatedly I wouldn't say. Which is fine, you know, perhaps better to have solid projects to your name than the odd tune here and there. The Chime essence is evident throughout and there's a good amount of experimentation on show to boot and the production is great for pretty much the whole thing, which isn't something you can say for many bass EPs today. Just that he set that standard for himself a couple of years back, and anything I hear now, it's kind of difficult not to compare. There are tracks here with a lot of good to them, but also enough to stop them from being exceptional in his discography. The thing for me of pushing not quite far enough seemingly, an EP I'll return to for moments, but lacking the invention and ingenuity to make it a true chime standout in my eyes. Now in terms of my favourite on the EP, then I would have to go for the opener, Unicorn Blood. The first drop is probably my favourite here, and I can see myself appreciating the second drop and vocal a lot more over time. And for a couple of recommendations, if you enjoyed the EP, I would look at Old Chime, of course, and also Asora, Sharks, and to be honest, most stuff on Chime's Rushdown label, so uh, yeah. But there we have it, my thoughts on the new EP from Chime released on Disciple Records. Our Flame, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. But what did you guys make of the EP itself? Which track of the four is your pick? Let me know all of your thoughts, views and opinions in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel and my social media accounts are linked below if you want to find those and also our new Discord server which is a lot of fun. We set it up a couple of days ago and yeah if you have Discord, if you want to get involved in a load of uh, music discussion and lots of stuff beyond that then be sure to check it out and yeah I will link some other EP reviews here if you want to find those on the channel but beyond that keep it naughty if it's naughty then you know and I will see all of you legends in the next one. Peace out.